Hi again guys and girls, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games and I hope everyone is having a great weekend out there. Today's video is a fast one about how to include uh, Email Composer inside of your game or application so that you can send it out to users or send it out to the user's friends perhaps. So just to illustrate what I'm talking about here, I've got the game up and you can see this in Unity. This has already been published. Uh, it's called Super Bug Killer. And if you notice in the bottom left hand side here, there's this sort of podium icon. And if you tap on this, an email composer shows up and it's got our, uh, to our, our technical, sorry, technical, our backup email uh, games at Cobalt Play there. So if the users have a problem or if they want to communicate with us, uh, then they use this email. It's also got a message in there saying, hey, um, Cobalt Play, here's my high score in Super Bug Killer, please add it to the, to the top scores. And then a screenshot showing their score, and that's been a little bit slow to load there, but it does show the score at the bottom. Then if the user clicks send on the top right, email composer goes down, it should have that sort of swishing sound in a second and then it'll, it'll say hey send. And that comes into our games at cobbleplay.com email. So uh, basically what we're trying to do there is one, we're trying to make some communication with the with the player uh, and we're also trying to, you know, grab their email so that we can introduce our games in the future. Obviously not to spam, but you know, maybe every month we might release a newsletter or, or some kind of video saying, hey, thanks for the games. Uh, check out these ones as well and you know we can remove them off email lists if they like of course so this is really easy to do guys um, and I'm gonna show you very fast and you can probably follow along quite easily without without too much trouble so to do email composers inside of unity I use um, a plugin from prime31.com so if you go to the unity plugins button here this page will pop up and this shows all of the iPhone and Android plugins and you can do this email composer plugin from either iPhone or Android and they're pretty much the same thing for both um, uh, compose, doing the code for iPhone and doing the code for Android. Okay, If you tap on the core iOS features, the name of it is called etc and it contains a bunch of like cool features like SMS composer or making screenshots, mail composer, uh, showing a web page, uh, getting the, the rate me pop up which says hey please rate the game and you can have that delayed push notifications so there's a lot in there and I, and I really recommend it I have a lot of plugins from uh, from Prime 31 um, if you do want to get some more uh, backup or some more uh, information on how the plugin works just while we're on the site if you click peruse the API docs you get this page up and if you scroll down and go to um, etc wherever it is the etc plugin Click on that and then it will show you all of the related uh, code calls for each of the functions for either iPhone or you can click on Android and you can also see that. So one of the reasons that we have email in, is, uh, email in the players uh, um, it, for them to send us an email is as I mentioned before we want to have some kind of communication with them. We want them to give us some feedback and we also want them to update our players on our new games as well. And one of the things that we do is send out this, this video email here so I just did this yesterday and some of you guys on the channel might have seen this already so thanks for looking uh, if you've already seen it but all it is is just a video newsletter showing our games and what we're doing next and, and a big thank you to all the players so that's one of the reasons why we have that email uh, sent to us as well and why we reply to the users so if I go back in unity this is a, a simple one so first thing is go to file and no sorry if I go to assets import package and then if I go to custom package, show my browser and I'm going to find the Unity plugin and I'm just going to demonstrate this. So if I go to Unity packages, Prime 31, okay, and this is my iPhone packages folder. So here you can see I've got a lot of plugins from Prime 31, they're, they're really, really good. It saved a lot of time as well. So the etc one, this is the newest one here and if I just click open, It'll show me a list of all of the files here that are going to get imported once we uh, once we click on the import button at the bottom here. So at the moment, I'm not going to click import because what I'll do is I'll overwrite some of the files that I already have. I've already imported, etc., and I'm already using it inside the game. So I'm not going to click on import. But what you guys would do is click on import here. I'll just close this down, and then if you click on etc. etc if I can spell etc and if I go to the folder here click on it there we go you can see all the etc files have been imported here okay so 
to once you have those folders inside of your project, either on iPhone or Android, what you want to do is then call those functions so that you can make uh, compose your email. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to go to game icons, which actually, as you can see here, it's highlighted this podium icon. So that's where the and this is where the script is for the uh, the mail composer. I'm just going to double click on it so I can open it. And what I'm doing down here is I'm actually checking to see if the user has tapped on the send email button or if they've tapped the high score email button, which will then show the composer. Okay, so I'll just illustrate as well so you guys can see what's happening up here. So first thing is to check if they're actually tapping on the button. We want to make a ray uh, and a ray cast hit. Now I think I've explained in some of my other videos before, a ray cast hit is basically when the player will um, when the player taps on something, we want to shoot a laser down through the camera into the game world. And then if, it ta if, the, if the user is, if that laser or ray hits a button, then it will, it will save that button information to the ray cast hit uh, variable here. So we can know, hey, was the button that was hit or tapped, was that uh, the play button or the, or the back button or was it a send the score button or whatever it may be. Um, once you have your update loop here, if what we want to do is check if the mouse button was uh, actually pressed down, then we want to make a raycast, and you guys can copy this code here, of course. We want to make a raycast using the input.mouse position, so the, the position of the of the finger on the screen, we can also use input.mouse position. If we actually did hit something, so if the raycast didn't just shoot into the world and hit nothing, if it did hit like a button or if it did hit a, an object, then we want to do this code below. And then if the raycast hit, if the name of the hit equals the button that we want to process, for example, if the player here, if they've tapped on our AMX icon, then what we want to do is open the URL to the AMX link, which is on iPhone and also on Android. But in the case of the email composer that I've got down here, I'll just go down slightly and if I can find it. So else if raycast hit, transform equals um, send my score through the text or button high score email. If, if the user taps on either of those, then process this information or this code down here. So for the Prime 31 plugin, what I've got is a start coroutine and what this does is this actually produces an email with a, uh, with a screenshot as well at the same time. So that means that if the user sends us a score, we can see the screenshot. So we, we know exactly what the score they got and then we can put that on our leaderboards. So etc. binding, show mail composer with screenshot. Um, you need to send it this information. This is just part of what's required for this for this um, uh, for this uh, function to work. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why that's there, but it's <laughs> it needed to be added. Uh, the email address that that you want the player to send to. It could be a friend's email. It could be your email, uh, your company email, uh, and then the actual the title of the email, which in this case is uh, my score in Super Bug Killer. Uh, for iPhone, and then hey, here's my high score. Please add it to the, uh, please add it online, and then false at the end here. I think if this was defined whether it was using HTML or not HTML, but the documentation on the Prime 31 website will explain this. Okay, and that's pretty much it for iPhone. For Android, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just show email composer. Uh, we don't have the screenshot functionality in here, but we they might have it available in the new version. But we're just putting the our email in for the first field. Uh, please send a screenshot with this email. My high score for Super Bug Killer, and then please the message body. Please add it to the high score and show it online. And that's separated using iPhone and Android. Uh, these statements here. This is just if you are building an iPhone and Android project in a in a single Unity project, then you want to separate these fields here. Uh, so what we've got is this is a conditional compilation. It's called. So if this is an iPhone, if we're actually building to an iPhone, then do this command. If we're building on Android, then do this command. If I take these statements away, what will happen is if we're running on iPhone and we click on that button, we'll get a crash. And vice versa on Android, we'll get a crash because it will be trying to run the iPhone code, which it can't do uh, because it's an Android device or vice versa. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I just wanted to kind of make a quick video and illustrate that one because we've been recently talking a little bit more about marketing and how to connect with players 
uh, and how to make games that really uh, can be successful and, and, and friends can know about it and so on. So I definitely think including some kind of email or some kind of um, response from the user, some, that functionality, that gives you some, uh, you know, some kind of communication because especially uh, on the iPhone platform or iPad platform, it is hard to communicate with the player sometimes. You have no idea who the player is um, unless, say, you go to like a leaderboard or something like this. Uh, we do get like hundreds of emails each day coming through from our games. Uh, the user tapping on and saying, hey, send, out, send this score. So that's great. It could be a feedback button. It could be, hey, send me my code to unlock this thing button, uh, which is a good way to do it as well because then the user's much more uh, proactive in, in getting in commun getting in contact with you. So but anyway, I, you know, I hope this uh, video was useful for everyone. Give it a try. Check out prime31.com uh, plugins because I, we use a lot of them for our games and, and I highly recommend them. It's saved a lot of time. But for now, everybody, happy developing, have a great weekend, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye.